All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Twin Flame weekly reading. I'm going to do something a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to get a sense of the energy of the collective right now. I've got a couple of Oracle decks here. Okay. So I'm going to use these at different periods or different times in the reading. Uh, if you're new here, Hi, welcome in. <laughs> if you like the, the videos I make, please hit the like button and subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, so with that, let's dive in. And thank you very much for those of you who have been here for a long time. I want to appreciate my long running um, peeps. And thank you very much for being with the channel. And I hope that over the course of time, we have had a chance to interact. If not, the Thursday Lives and the Wednesday Lives are a great chance to ask your questions. So I see a lot of your questions in the comments. And if you have questions about Twin Flame, actually the Pathfinder Lives on Thursday are really the places to ask those. Okay. So uh, all of that is in the description box if you want to join. So let's see where we go with Pathfinder or with uh, Twin Flame. <sighs> what is going on for the Twin Flame Collective right now? What is going on for the Twin Flame Collective right now? All right, I'm just going to pull one of these. Your lighthouse guides you home to the stars. So <clears throat> um, some of you know that I am definitely, I have been through my Twin Flame journey. I have completed some of the uh, scariest parts of it. <laughs> and... Um, the thing that always uh, helps me out the most when I'm in the middle of things is to recognize that your job is here to go through these things so that you can help others go through these things. Sometimes that's true. Sometimes if you are a way shower like I am or a modern mystic, which I'm teetering on the verge of moving into, um, it is your place to shine the light that you have as brightly as possible. It is that, <clears throat> excuse me, it is that more than ever, I'm feeling that this lighthouse that we talked about for years, um, I feel like some of us have run around the beach waving other things to try to get the attention of the boats. When all you need to do is really shine your light. And by doing that, what you're doing is you're attracting in those who need your message, need your assistance. It's the path of least resistance that's being asked of you right now. So some of you maybe um, have run around the beach a little bit, <clears throat> not really knowing or, or, or kind of being like, yeah, 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 I have this talent or I have this gift or something like that, but that's not the one I want. I want a different gift. I want this kind of gift or that kind of gift. And those all could open up, but it comes from standing in the power of the existing gift that you have, the one that you might be like, yeah, is that really a gift? Like, I feel like I've been doing that my whole life. I'm here to say, yeah, it's a gift. And it's time to step into that more so that you can expand your gifts. If you, if you run away from that or if you um, pull yourself into a place of like, oh, no, I need a more important gift then um, everything kind of goes into a little bit of a lull, like a, like a stuck place a little bit. So first light, there's Mr. Charlie. Infinite abundance, new things coming your way here. Rejuvenating rain. All right, so for those of you who have also had a challenge recently because you have been sort of running around trying to figure out what you're here to do, what is my calling, what is my my gift. Oh, it can't be that, you know, just because I can see people's auras or I can sense, or I, I have empathy for people, or I'm, I'm good at, you know, bringing people together or connecting other people. I'm good at, um, speaking my truth. I'm good at seeing who people are now that I've been through, uh, enough of this twin flame journey. I'm really good at understanding how 5d works, how the eighth chakra, how the ninth chakra work, Right. I did a little class earlier this year about connecting to that. And the eighth chakra is really the opening to your Akash. OK. And ninth chakra is really about um, opening to your highest um, guides and archangels and also your high self. Getting a relationship with your high self is right now paramount. 
because I feel like what this year has been teaching us, especially if you feel like you've had a, a challenging year, okay? If this, like, kind of out of the blue, like, 2022, what? Like, we thought we had been going through some challenges in 2020 and 2021. 2022 presented a lot of different challenges. Um, and I think that some of us, and I will definitely include myself in this, some of us can get turned around in the mission thinking, oh, it's gotta be bigger than this, or it can't, it can't be this, right? Some of us get in that place. And I've heard a lot of you say that to me uh, over the course of the last few months that it needs to be something out here. I'm looking for something out here, but really it's in here that you're looking for things and looking for yourself, looking for your connection to spirit. Because, you know, we talk about the self-care, self-reflection, but I've also been talking about the divinity in you connected to the divinity in um, in the cosmos. All right. We're, we're coming up on, uh, a, a, I was listening to Carolyn Mays talk the other day about how religion as an earth centric thing is really radically shifting because we're recognizing that we are part of the cosmos, that we are part of a much bigger um, experience. It's not just, you know, that God is earth centric and things like that. And that is going to shake up a lot of people's mindsets about divinity and the divinity in us and uh, being connected to all of creation, being connected to something much bigger than us. And I do feel like this elevates mu much more than you might think. OK, if you've been taking your gift for granted. Collective. All right. This is for the collective. If you've been taking your gifts for granted it's, I feel like what's been happening this year is a lesson in gratitude, a lesson in um, being aware of who you truly are and how you're impacting people. If you're having impact, you're using your gift. I'll say it again. If you're having impact in the world, you're using your gift. If you're creating something that's, that's a container that's making you small, that's keeping you from you know, shining your light, then that's what I'm talking about, the challenge of really opening up your light. And, you know, I do know that a lot of you um, have this sense of if I shine my light, then what's going to happen to my 3D life? And I'm here to say that I at very, very quickly here, uh, I don't feel like that's going to necessarily be a choice. It's been a choice for um, about 10 years now. It's been a choice to kind of step in and out of your calling. I don't think it's going to be a choice for very much longer. All right. So what's going on with the divine feminine right now? The collective of the divine feminine. Okay. So this is showing up the 10 of, wow, I love this, the 10 of swords and the hermit energy. So we are in Virgo time and page of pentacles, ace of swords. I do love this knight of cups nine of swords and the outcome is the 10 of wands. What's underneath is the five of swords. So there can be, I feel like the divine feminine, um, whether this has any relationship to the divine masculine or not, and just know that whenever I do twin flame readings, it's really clear to me that this journey is about the integration of your inner masculine and feminine. So even if we're not talking about a 3D kind of coupling or relationship, Think of this as this is my divine feminine side. This is my divine masculine side. And this is the direction that's being asked of me. Um, so there are people around who are, it's possible taking advantage of you. You might've gotten stabbed in the back, divine feminine, but now you're really seeing the wisdom in this change. So some of you are having some big changes this year. And even if someone betrayed you or you feel betrayed, you can feel betrayed even if someone didn't really, it's not intentional. They didn't set out to be, to really betray you. However, the five of swords underneath is the card that this is what's going on, even though you're not uh, aware of it. It's something happening behind your back, under your nose, something like that. And I do feel like you're going to get a sense of what that is very soon. The ace of swords and the knight of cups. There is some kind of information that's coming through that might help you see it, right? And then be like, oh, wow, I didn't really see that this was happening. 
I didn't really know. So it is time to put it down. It is time to put away the burden. Um, it's the end of the cycle here. And you are gleaning a lot of wisdom from it. It is a, a, it's schooling you a little bit on, it's possible about being too naive with people or too, too generous. I mean, but I think once you see this, you're energetically connected to somebody who is of low vibration right now. It could be the divine masculine, but it feels much more like it's, it's, um, it's easily remedied, I think, because swords are really fast energy. You can change them quickly. Uh, cups, you know, wands are the next quickest, then um, cups, and then pentacles. Pentacles are the slowest. So it's taken you a long time to learn this lesson, page of pentacles. Um, but I feel you do. And then I feel you're able to assess the next offer. So whether that's from the divine masculine or not, we'll see. <clears throat> but I, if you feel like you've been betrayed by the divine masculine, I see Virgo energy here. I don't see anything else. But if you feel like there's been a betrayal and I'm holding those up because I think you need to understand that there's a new, a new day. There's a new day dawning here. And I think it's okay to feel betrayed. I, I feel your feelings no matter what. Okay. Feel your feelings. And I, somebody was uh, very interesting in the comments yesterday when I was talking about feeling, or it was this, that short I did, which I'll put a little link to here, about um, instead of tensing up when you get feelings that are uncomfortable, <sighs> relaxing into them. And I feel like that's part of the relaxing into them is that you're like, yeah, I've been betrayed or someone has really uh, gone around behind my back and... I didn't want to see it for a long time, but now I'm seeing it. Okay. And so it's the, it's the doorway. Like the longer you try to run away from it or hide from it or pretend it's not happening, the longer it sticks around in your vibration. So divine masculine, what's going on for the divine masculine right now? One more shuffle, please. What's going on for the divine masculine? Six of pentacles underneath, like a balancing of the scales. Let's see. Four of cups, eight of cups, six of cups. We do have a lot of retrogrades going on right now. In my Wednesday live, I talked through all of them with you. Um, this is definitely about, um, it feels like going back. Even though the eight of cups is about moving forward on your path, it feels like there's some kind of stalemate here for divine masculine and they're not paying attention to the correct things. Divine masculine, you're, you're looking at um, what was and not recognizing your ability to change things, not recognizing your ability or a new offer that's coming in. And I feel like this is about going back because this is um, the six of cups and the eight of cups can be about coming back around to something three of wands, temperance energy. There's the nine of swords in the exact same position as the feminine ace of pentacles. So I feel like this is a, an anxiety around a reconnection, um, a fear that masculine, if you did betray the feminine, if you, if you manipulated the feminine or betrayed the feminine, I feel like you have a big fear of reaching out again. There's a, there's a definitely a, a scared, like temperance is like, slow down, cowboy. Whoa. Because I'm turning my back on this. I'm, I'm, I, I feel like the masculine has been very stubborn here with this four of cups and they're being offered a new path forward. Now the masculine does, um, the three of wands is like, okay, I'm allowing. So the masculine might at first uh, do a good job of balancing themselves. This is really nice. Okay. Balancing themselves, balancing their energy, definitely with this temperance card too. It's like, um, how do I approach this? How do I say what I need to say? And then there's a real fear. So I feel like the masculine ultimately comes to this, to the position of it must be tangible. Whatever I'm going to offer must be real and tangible. It can't be ephemeral. It can't be, we are in so much earth energy right now. 
Uh, we have uh, Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. We have the North Node in Taurus. We have, hold on, I'm going to look at my little book here. Um, nope, it's not here. Um, we have um, Virgo season. We just had the new moon in Virgo. And there's just a lot of Earth energy right now, which I'm loving that the feminine is in alignment with and ready to learn the new lessons, ready to admit that, you know, this really hurt. This was painful for me. And the, the offer comes in. I feel like now the feminine is in alignment with who they are and what they want. And then I feel like this offer comes in Knight of Cups, but the feminine's like, oh my God, do I do this again? Do I go back to this again? Ten of Wands. It's going to be different this time. Okay. It's going to be different this time. And let me use a third deck here about the energy. It's going to be different this time. So let's see. Just do a couple of what the energy is for the connection. Four of Wands. Beautiful energy starting out. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. Chariot. Tower. Can't let that go. Seven of Pentacles. Devil energy. Three of Cups. Okay. So I feel like this is all go. This is like go, go, go. Go, go, go. Great lyrics, Mary Jo. <laughs> go, go, go. All right. So <laughs> this starts out really beautifully. I think the connection is wanting to come back in a very tangible way. Uh, Four of Wands is 11-11. So we're seeing this very clearly, tangibly. Okay. And then this is movement forward. I really like this a lot. Now, there's something here that it's almost like I'm getting the sense... I feel like it's this 10 of wands. It's this baggage from the feminine that is like unable to move forward. It's almost like there's a hook. So let's say you're in this carriage. You're, you know, yeah, the horses are going everything, but there's a, a, a rope or a, um, a chain, big, big chain hooked to the back of the chariot. So you can only get maybe a hundred yards down the road ugh, before the whole, the whole chariot gets blasted apart. So there's some stuff here that hasn't been handled and it can be about the betrayal of the feminine, the feminine feeling betrayed and still carrying this, all right? Still carrying this around. So it's gonna take some time here, according to this reading. This may start off on Labor Day. We're getting the, um, uh, the card of on the next holiday. And look at the masculine is kind of waiting, looking at the three of cups. Like I'm waiting for the right moment. Masculine's waiting for the right moment. And it's possible that the masculine goes off too soon, like go reaches out to the feminine too soon. The, the feminine has not um, processed this. Okay. So we're going to keep going here, but I definitely see, I see Sag, Capricorn, Cancer, Virgo. All right. I see those signs and I'm going to get some special guidance for them, even if it's not your sign. These are sun, moon, rising and Venus signs that I will look at in the extended. But let's keep going because I feel like there's a, a real opportunity for reconnection here. And there's also, um, uh, whoa, Nelly, we've got to make sure we're on the same path here. We got to make sure we're on the same page. The feminine has not processed this betrayal. Okay. All right. If you want to continue on with me, there's a link below. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.